Global collaboration offers many benefits for educators and students, but those benefits are only realized when conditions for successful collaboration are met. This video will walk you through the logistics that support effective global collaboration. We will help you determine if you are ready to begin now or if more preparation is needed for success. The most important thing you need to be a global collaborator is inspiration. Whether it's from personal experiences, stories you've heard, or people you've met. Motivation to find and cultivate a collaboration with someone unlike yourself is the necessary first step for success. If you have the right mindset, the following challenges will seem minor and absolutely worth the investment of time to overcome. The first thing that you need to begin a global collaboration is a collaborator. The more time you can spend building that relationship, the easier your collaboration will be. If possible, working with someone you have met in person helps because you can begin from at least one shared experience. However, finding a collaborator online can work as long as you commit to the time required to understand their goals as well as your own and what would make the collaboration worthwhile to them. Now, there can be a lot of false starts at this stage, but it's much better to find the right collaborator that makes your project a success than to spend a lot of time and resources with someone whose goals don't align with your own, or who has a different level of commitment than you, or whose experience hasn't entirely prepared them for global collaboration. We imagine that even collaborations with your closest colleagues suffer from technical issues like unstable video conferencing, corrupted files, and platforms lacking desired features. These common challenges are compounded in global collaborations, as collaborators may have newer or older hardware and software, institutional firewalls or restrictions, or simply technology that isn't able to interface with yours. For these reasons, we recommend building collaborations on the fewest, simplest, and most widely used platforms available. You might have to learn new software and tools, but offering to do so takes some of the burden off of your potential collaborators. Asking your organization for software licenses or time to educate yourself about new tools helps set administrative expectations, which is crucial as internal support could make or break your global collaboration. Perhaps the greatest challenge of global collaboration is time. And not just the time required to build and implement a program, but also coordinating across time zones, different cultural norms, and schedules. The further apart your time zone is from your potential collaborators, the more difficult it is to schedule FaceTime between participants. Holidays and vacations can differ widely from place to place, as can working hours. Therefore, we recommend that you build a schedule with your collaborators, working directly with them to ensure that touch points and workflow work for everyone involved. Another significant factor in global collaboration is language. Collaborating without a shared language is possible, but requires patience, time, and resources. For real-time interactions, you might need an interpreter who bridges the different languages. Volunteers might not have the necessary confidence, ability, or topic-specific vocabulary in all required languages that paid professionals would have. Similarly, any language-specific materials would require translation, and paid professionals are recommended to avoid any potential offense or misunderstanding related to formal versus informal language, word choices, or differences in dialect. To wrap up, let's quickly run through our recommendations to address some challenges of global collaboration. First, commit time to build relationships with your collaborators and understand their goals. Then make sure you agree on the simplest possible platforms and tools to facilitate your collaboration and muster support for the work within your organization. After choosing tools, build a schedule with your collaborator that accounts for time zones and time away while specifying times to collaborate and interact face-to-face -face that work for everyone. Use the financial resources you have to pay professionals to assist with interpretation and translation. Begin your student work by making sure everyone is aware of and avoids offensive stereotyping. Finally, assess the complexity of the work you are considering as fully as possible account for the actual time required, and plan for something achievable with contingencies for something amazing.